guys so firstly congratulations with the concept i really love the concept and i went to that link also to be very honest tell us something about the vision and about the concept the vision i think for metastar media should start yes. with with him well the idea was to um, bring the entire artist uh, universe onto one platform um today if you look at any artist how they engage with the fan base uh, how they engage with the followers the entire arts versus spread across multiple third party platforms you know so depending on what they're selling depending on what activity they are doing it's all at different marketplaces so in essence what they're doing is they're bouncing their fan base from one uh, platform to the other right? yes. so audio video streaming uh, merchandising the nft the new web3 business is somewhere else So the idea was to bring that entire ecosystem on one platform. So that is the core philosophy, and then we wanted to make it a lot more interesting and immersive for the fans. You know, and typically your websites are dead assets today um, because they've just become boring. Right? Mean, so how do we make it more engaging and obviously keeping the future in mind? Um, Meta Star, we definitely believe that the future of the internet itself is going to be immersive. If you look at all the trends that are happening in tech, all the major tech giants have invested in VR. I invested in devices, so we wanted to make the platform future-proof. So we made it an interesting, immersive, gamified experience. So at the end of the day, functionally, it's actually a website which has everything and anything that an artist would want to share with their fans, and vice versa, what a fan would want from an artist available on one destination. So that's the concept. What? What's up? What's up? you know it's quite exciting as an artist because of with the music that i've been doing and now i'm in ad film uh, you know music production i go to a studio to create music there i'm at home to you know do my scratches for the longest time i've wanted to do merchandising i've wanted to bring in my fashion uh, wanted to launch a fashion line wanted to do co- collaborative work with uh, you know more business avenues this is like the coolest thing it's it's a virtual space very like my home space i'm literally bringing in fans into my daily work routine but it's like it's an artist verse it's in one place i think um overall for a person like me and my madness there are so many avenues of uh, you know from a, from a karaoke booth that i finally got i, I love karaoke i love I, i would love the fans to sing with me um it, it's a one stop shop for all the various links like meta meta star has really gone all out and got my old you know telugu songs my tamil songs all my videos everything so a small part of it is the music that i'm releasing and will keep releasing in the videos but a huge part of it is Uh, for a mind like mine and for for artists who do so much more with their art um, uh, th- this is this is the one stop shop for a fan to come uh, to experience us as a whole uh, it's it's and we've just started so my brain can't even right now figure out how much more we can do i was just talking to shatadru about it but it's literally entering my universe as an artist and it's really exciting because it makes it and the fact that it's web3 it makes it so much more exciting so much more interactive in fact i took my 17 year old son very early i think uh, meta star media they remember it and he you know he doesn't even like he watches my video for a second he literally spent minutes there going through this entire space so m- more than anything else from a 10 13 year old child to an 8 year old person this is really interactive for everybody and i hope to be able to cater for all of them in this space and it's beautiful design yeah tell us something about the design and Well, we have a team that you know yeah. kind of works very closely with the artist. Um, see, the design aesthetics is everything actually comes from the artist. Right. Um, we translate their vision into the, the metaverse. So there is a team at MetaStar that you know works very closely with them, um, gets down to you know details, and we also replicate a lot of stuff. If you look at the metaverse, you'll actually find Mansi's couch, Mansi's yeah. speakers yes. that she actually yeah. has. um and of course there are a lot of other stuff where we've ideated with her yeah no i have to clear it up over there in this situation this is the team that has done everything because there's madness in my ma- mind which not many people understand in fact many many years ago you know you used to give those um, entrance exams for interior decor i i got a minus 2 on 100 it's one career that they said never get into but when i see the space that they've created and that's his team i would i would literally say you know fluorescent green here with some some stringing lights and something and they would create they've created this space i literally had madness in my brain which this entire team has worked so hard to bring in and what i love about it is besides the lime green and besides the 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 colors that i couldn't describe to them and i you know they they've actually put them together in the way that 
I hadn't seen it in my mind. Um, so literally, this is all the team. I just gave them some random mad ideas and they're all there. And I'm quite excited because it's it feels like home. It feels like a virtual home and it feels like my studio and my, my you know, my, my home, other places that I want to work with, a bar. Everything is coming to one space and I love going through it all the time. It just makes me feel very happy. How the fans are going through How the fans are? Going to like uh, involved in those that's also a great question actually we would love the fans to be more involved later like like i said it's a start right now there's a karaoke space where we've got my new song let it go that's there where fans can sing and they love they love singing with me i i, I see i kind of pull up two three people in live concerts to come and sing with me when i'm doing them and here uh, i hope to add more songs and definitely input from the fans would would be great uh, especially in terms of merchandising and the lines that i create i have been uh, i've also been doing uh, you know, singing classes and vocal training sessions, which are very unlike the, the, the traditional ways that, that people sing and teach people. So I've got young kids who are, um, uh, who I'm tailor making programs for. So I want to do all that. And definitely if the fans have things, this is the one space where a fan tells you they want something from you, you can actually deliver it, which is quite exciting. Yes. And do you, do you believe the young singers have more option when you started your career? What do you mean young singers? Now, it's like we are young singers. <laughs> no, no, if we talk about 14 years, 16 yeah, years, yeah. Uh, girl or child, yeah. uh, they have more option right now. And you didn't have that more option. How do you see that? It's an exciting time. and uh, uh, So the, the, there's one advantage of not having the option is because you had to be that good at your craft. You had to earn the space on stage. You didn't have this. I've never done a cut and paste in any of my songs. I've always sung every recorded song you hear start to finish. There are more options right now, but but they, the guidance is much less right now because everybody just wants to get famous every single day. So even that, in a way, I have been trying to teach uh, the you know the younger kids on on how to how to how to make their music, what to concentrate on, what not to. So it it was it tough in a way in terms of opportunities in my time, but it's really tough right now. I think for the for the next generation because there's so many of these singers doing so many things that the the music and the art itself is getting a little lost. So, um, and that's one of my missions as well, to actually help people, you know, present themselves like, like the West does with a, with a presence on stage, with the way they should make their music, with, with not. So, I, I wouldn't say it's easier now, but yeah, there are more opportunities now for sure. Live concerts also. Live, live concerts? Uh, yeah, they, that's the one place I know that there's no comparison to, the, to us. Like, I must be about 2,500 concerts down right now. Um, uh, what, what we create on stage, I don't think... Uh, these kids know how to, so hopefully uh, this is another part of my my career, um, my meta star space that and I want to. Yes. Gasra. Acha, ye nikal gaya isliye. Ye theek hai? Okay. Yes. And I just want to add on to it. There's a flip side to that coin as well. Yeah. So, with more opportunities, I mean, back in the day there were gate little bit of gatekeepers, right? And that also made sure that, you know, like she Mansi mentioned that, you know, you had to be top talent to kind of shine through, right? Today, there are 200,000 new songs being uploaded on Spotify every day. Yeah. Right. Right. So how do you cut through that clutter, right? So while there's more opportunity, it is easier to release, it is easier to, you know, put it up on social media, but it's also become a lot more tougher to cut, cut through the cutter and get to notice that. Yeah, that's so true. So there's a flip side to that as well. Yeah. And what's your biggest goal? For? Anything. Like, do you have any concept that this is my biggest goal, which I have to achieve it? See, with, for Metastar, our goal is to help the entire independent music community be self-sufficient. Um, bring in revenue models for them that today they possibly are not addressing or even their management doesn't have time for. Right. Today, you know, for most artists, 90% of the revenues, like more than that, come from live shows and a little bit from recording, right? There's other business avenues that largely get ignored because they just simply don't have the time for it. Yes. They'd rather focus. So, you know, so our idea is to also tech enable that so that tomorrow when a lockdown, if it, you know, hopefully it doesn't, but if it hits, an artist does have other ways to sustain themselves. Right. Um, also, not all artists are performing artists. Um, Manasi is, of course, you know, one of the best business, but there will be a, there's another breed of artists that are amazing music makers. Yeah. Um, they do a lot of other things differently, but not necessarily live, right? Yeah. So how do they make uh, revenue? How do they sustain themselves, right? 
So the idea of the artist first, what we've created is to bring in all revenue opportunities That's the point. for an artist, right? Yeah. So tomorrow, you, you know, someone could have a fashion sense, right? Yeah. They have a quirky style of fashion, right? Maybe they can exploit that. Um, there are a lot of artists in the West who are only dependent on Web3. They're making, doing, doing shows, doing interacting, they're making money from crypto, they're doing, you know, releasing and music on blockchain. We want to enable that as that well, too. right? So the idea is to, you know, like, not to miss out on any opportunities, bring that entire opportunity for each artist. And they're not dependent on multiple third party platforms. Yeah. Lastly, what about you? Goals. Uh, Shatadru is the one who's now making me get my, you know, my dates in place. I've never been goal oriented. Listen, I'm a software engineer. I was top of my class. I was on my way to a scholarship uh, and my amazing father said, stop this nonsense and sing songs. That's how singing started. Started with the fashion industry. I wanted to learn about fashion. I say fashion is my passion. Music, I just, and music's literally my soul. I got to design my entire look with, with the stalwarts like Heman Trivedi, Neeta Lula. I was first face showstopper. Priyanka Chopra, Nick Jonas's wedding. It was no, not a goal. It was just that I know I'm going to sing for that wedding. Uh, PC actually tells everybody that Manasi Ravindranath is the reason I wanted to sing songs. She's very generous like that. So I've never had, even this manifestation concept is coming to me now very slowly because you know there's now, I, I meet people like him. Lockdown, uh, you know sometimes when you look at 180 concerts in lockdown and 145 days dressed up every day giving a thing, you know for me more than a goal it's to keep on keeping on and I constantly unlearn, constantly learn, constantly try new avenues and new things. So. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I love adventure sports. I, my, my, my goal is literally to live life and to kind of motivate other people to live it to the fullest. That's, you know, sing, dance, make music, do everything. Do, do the things that you have to do and try everything. Um, so ultimately that would just be, like I have, a, I have a son who's 17 and I would really, you know, when, when, when people like him look back at school, college, I would hope they were happy people. So the goal is to sing a lot, make a lot of music, create a lot of new business opportunities with Metastar and uh, just keep on keeping on. That would be my goal. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you Thank so you. much.